Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena and I bring you today's word for October 28, 2016. It's a Friday morning. I love closing out the week strong and heading into the weekend strong. I've been teaching you a series all year long entitled Refine Focus, where we've been learning to recalibrate our focus in 2016 so that we could become the men and women God called us to be. And I told you that for the last three months of the year, and I started at the beginning of October, that we were going to focus on God's finished work. So yesterday we started looking at the prophet Isaiah. We looked at the first verse of chapter 49. Today I want to go back to Isaiah 49 and 1, but I also want to look at Isaiah 49 and verse 5 with a message entitled, Do You Know What Isaiah Knew? The, the message today comes in the form of a question. The question is, do you know what Isaiah knew? Let's get into it. So Isaiah Chapter 49 and verse 1 says, the prophet said, listen to me, all you in distant lands, pay attention. You who are far away, the Lord called me before my birth. From within the womb, he called me by name. Now, verse 5, the Lord, Isaiah says, is the one who made me in my mother's womb so that I could be his servant. He wanted me to lead Jacob and Israel back to him. So what does this mean to you today? What I want to do today is just kind of key in. I have three main points that I'm just going to key in on what Isaiah knew. And then as we uh, kind of focus in on some of the things that he knew, then we'll see how those revelations for him can apply to us today. We'll seek to glean some golden nuggets from what Isaiah knew. Let's get into it. Number one, Isaiah knew that God knew him before he was born, right? So he knew that. And this was a revelation that God knew him before he was born. He knew God knew him by name before his parents gave him a name. He knew God called him from his mother's womb. He knew that he was not a mistake, that he was on this planet for God's divine purpose. And see, when you know what Isaiah knew about, about that, right? That the fact that God knew you by name before you were given a name, before a name was placed on your birth certificate, God knew you and was acquainted with you before your parents knew you and were acquainted with you. When you know that, then you start to live your life on purpose because you know that you're here for God's divine purpose. And as you're pursuing your purpose, God gives you vision, incremental vision to be able to maximize the season that you're in. So then you live your life on purpose with vision by grace, with, by the grace of God that is unmerited, uh, it is unearned, it is often undeserved, it's amazing. So God gives us this profuse grace. He empowers us to do what he calls us to do. Number two, Isaiah knew that he was on this planet to be God's servant. See, he knew his life was not his own. He knew he was not on this planet to simply suck in and blow out air, have a little fun, and then die. He knew he was on this planet to bring glory to the one who sent him here. He was not here for himself. He was not here uh, to live out his own selfish desires. See, when you know what Isaiah knew about that, then you live every day with an emphasis on bringing glory to the God who sent you here. You work. But you don't work like you're working for man. It doesn't even matter if you like your boss. It doesn't even matter if you like your environment because you're not there for them. You're there for God. So you go to work and you can whistle while you work because your focus, your emphasis is on the God who sent you here. You know that you're working for God. And because you're doing what you're doing for God, you do it with a spirit of excellence because you represent an excellent God. Number three, Isaiah knew that his assignment was to lead Israel back to God. See, he knew what he was called to do, so he didn't focus on anything else. If you don't know your purpose, then you run the risk of, of wandering aimlessly through life, existing but not truly living. You don't really start living until you know why you're here. See, when you know your purpose, your heart will be attuned uh, to receive God's vision. That vision, I told you, that God reveals things to you, and he gives you incremental vision to be able to maximize the season that you're in. And when you get the vision of God, you know your purpose, you're receiving divine insight, wisdom, revelation, knowledge, understanding, you're getting wisdom, you're getting vision from God for your purpose. Then you live your life with focus and you live your life with clarity. So let's close this message out with a declaration of faith. I want you to open up your mouth and declare some things over your own life. And you're declaring this by faith. You ready? Say this. Say, Father, this is a season of refined focus for me. I bring my life into focus in 2016. I know what you knew about me before the world began. So since you knew me, I know I'm not a mistake. 
I know I'm on this planet for your divine purpose. I know I am here to bring glory to your name. My life is not about me or my selfish desires. My life is all about you and my divine purpose. So I enter this day and every day focus on bringing glory to your name. I declare that I engage in every meeting, conversation, and activity today with a spirit of excellence because you are an excellent God and I represent you. I am here to do your bidding, to represent your kingdom, and to fulfill your purpose. I live my life to receive your finished work. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Look, look on the right hand side of the website and sign up and get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. I know you know someone who should watch this video. So share it with them. As you enter this day, Isaiah knew what he was here for. But do you know what Isaiah knew? When you know what Isaiah knew and you know that God knows all things and you know that God sent you here for his divine purpose, then every day you're living, your, you're not even moved by people. People can come and go. People can get excited. People can be overly emotional. People can treat you wrong, but your focus is on God and, and what he sent you to this planet to do. And that way you're not moved. You're not shaken. You live your life with divine focus. May the Lord bless you as you enter this day and this weekend. May the Lord keep you. May, may the Father, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he give you, answer all your prayers and give you his peace. God bless you.